Ooh. All right, guys, I am absolutely soaking wet right now because I don't know if you can see right behind me, rain just passed over, lots and lots of rain. It absolutely poured. I got a little wet, hit under a bridge for a little bit, uh, but now it is time to catch some fish. So what we're going to be throwing today, one of my favorite snook lures of all time is the no live bait needed low mullet here. We're going to be throwing this guy today. If you guys don't know what the low mullet is, it is basically kind of like a fluke style bait, obviously meant to mimic a mullet. It's five and a half inches and it'll work kind of on the surface. Maybe if you slow it down a little bit, it'll bounce left and right under the surface. It has a really great action, very realistic, um, and it gets absolutely smashed by fish. So the deal works with the, or how the deal works with these videos is when I drop a low mullet video or a no live bait needed video, you guys can use a discount on these baits for the next 48 hours. Use code JM15, that'll save you 15%. However, after this video at 8 p.m., there will be a low mullet drop. So right as you see this video, there might not be any low mullets in stock, but they will be restocking at 8 p.m. after this video. So they do go very fast, be quick, but you can grab a bunch of other stuff. They make the five inches, eight inches, straight tails, snook rulers, apparel. Check it all out. They even sell hooks for the low mullets. This is a 5.0 uh, eighth ounce hook, and uh, it should get it done today. So. Without further ado, we're gonna find some fish, hopefully snook, hopefully redfish, maybe even a trout. You never truly know out here, it's always changing, but we're gonna get started. Stay tuned guys, let's catch some. If you twitch it, it'll do like this action. I kind of like to work it in like a frantic motion. So let's just pretend I'm casting out a snook here and I know he's sitting right there. I'll usually work it pretty quickly across the surface, letting it just kind of do whatever it does. Almost letting it, it it'll end up looking like a, or like a mullet trying to get away from a bait. So usually I'll just work it real quick, just like this, tick, 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 tick. Kind of let it bounce left and right, let it do whatever it wants. And that is what I find usually gets the snook to eat. It's just a frantic motion skipping across the water. They really like that snooker, tricky fish. Very tricky fish, so sometimes you gotta work something very fast to get a snook to even, you know, consider it. But we're gonna work some mangroves, some docks, snook, redfish, trout, maybe a tarpon. It's all on the menu for today. There's a ton of snook right here. That's a big fish. Body him. Yes, sir. Just keep him out of the pole there. That's how you do that. Fish is out. Drop a little, little mullet came out of its mouth though. Whew. That was so sick. That was so sick. I think all my cameras are wet. Nope, none of them are wet. God, that was sick. Low mullet worked, baby. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave this fish in the water right there. That is a really nice snook. And that was, <laughs> that eat was so loud. <laughs> so loud. All right, guys. Well, first fish of the day comes, I think it's around 10 a.m. I've been throwing for quite a bit. Threw in a few fish here and there. Had some spooks, had some follows. But that fish absolutely murdered. I think the low mullet, Low mullet's not in there. It flew out somewhere. It knocked it off the hook, but absolutely murdered that. There was quite a few fish under that dock, and I was just making light tosses, twitching, twitching, twitching. 
and one fell for it. That is probably a 33, 34 inch fish, but we're gonna go ahead and put this fish back in the water. All right, hooks out. We're gonna spin this fish around, grab him by the tail, and get our release. As always, do your best to keep these fish in the water as long as possible. Picture's okay, just try to keep them wet because they do get tired from those fights. We had the right tackle, 5,500 spin fisher. It was tight, drag was tight, and I, had, I just had that set perfectly. Every now and then you get messed up and you get loose drag while you're snook fishing and they get you, but I was ready for that. Drag was tight and I was able to get that fish out of the dock. Fish is starting to kick now out of my hands. Always try to wait till that fish, oh, and there it goes. Keep that fish in the water, support it until that fish starts to kick out of your hands and it feels like it's fighting you to get away. That's when it's time to let go, but heck yeah, incredible fish there. Like I said, probably 33, 34. Uh, smash that thing. <laughs> Those blow ups are just imprint, like they're in my brain. I can hear that. <laughs> oh, best noise in the world is snook blow up, especially on top water, but got it done. I lost my little mullet. Leader is, not afraid at all actually this is 60 pound fluorocarbon uh and while we're using 5500 spin fisher there and then an eight foot heavy fenwick hmg inshore rod but i'm gonna go ahead and throw on another little mullet i'm gonna show you guys how i rig up the next the next little mullet because i know i get a lot of questions so let's go ahead and switch to i'll switch to a different color and show you guys how i rig that up oh all right i do see a little fray here i was using 60 pound fluorocarbon so i'm gonna go ahead and just cut right above that if you ever feel a fray while you're snook fishing, it's just best to retie. You don't want to have it break later in the day when you hook a good fish. So I'm just going to cut off the frayed portion and then retie right above it. And I think we're going to put on a different color. Two other colors I had today are a smoked mullet. And honestly, I don't remember the name of this color. Look at this, like this brown, brown back, blue belly. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. All right, so we got our 5.0 here, and twist lock on the front, and then one eighth ounce right here. And I'm just gonna put it, take the uh, twist lock and put it a little bit closer to the top of the bait. So I'm gonna put it about right there, of course, in the middle. Twist it on, and then from here it's basically like a typical, like a like a Texas rig style. We're gonna take them like this. Got our hook. We're gonna stick it in the belly. We're gonna kind of bend this little mullet back a little bit and push it through the back just like let me see how I did there just like that and there you got it a little mullet rigged up with 5-0 we need another fish today let's get started let's get it let's get another fish bigger fish bigger fish I don't know maybe we can find a 40 a 40 maybe fingers crossed giant just missed it about the 20th cast under the dock oh no big snook just missed it I wasn't even looking at the bait but I looked when I felt him thump it just didn't get the hook Whew. I don't know if you guys could see any of that but came across it oh he knocked the hook out of the thing that's why Knock the hook out of its slot. I'm gonna sneak back up into this dock to see if I can find another fish. Fished around for about an hour, got one eat. And I'm just gonna check this dock one more time because there were so many snook under it. Got him! That's a big one! No! Through it. Ah, the head shakes and the jumps. 
They get you. But this was much bigger than the last one I caught. If that one, if the one I caught earlier was about 32, that one was probably 35. <sighs> same exact dock, too. I've gotten two eats today, and they've both been under the same dock. Man. Oh, <sighs> shoot. That's tough. Keep on fishing. That's all you can do. That's tough, man. Big fish head shake. Hard to avoid. Got a fish under the stalk here. You can see the snook tailing. Little ripples. There's probably a bunch of them. I can only see one though. Look at that tail sticking up. That's a snook. Missed it, missed it, missed it. Fish just missed it. That fish blasted it under the dock there. Never got it, never felt any of the weight or anything, like he just popped it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch up to a different color here. Not that the other color wasn't working, but I'm just gonna change something up. I've had three good fish blow up the low mullet now, hooked one, and just haven't been able to keep, keep them together. I'm just gonna switch up colors See if that makes a difference at all. But, all right, let's do this. All right, guys, well, once again, it's about 10,000 degrees out. It is 145, and I grinded today for some fish. Only got one, but uh, I had some close calls with some fish. Definitely some close calls, some some big fish that blasted the low mullet and just missed it. They do that sometimes, even with the top water full of treble hooks, they miss them. But that is just the nature of snook fishing. They're aggressive. And uh, I just wish I could have pulled one more out of that, uh, out of today. We got one that was probably 33, 34, um, which was an awesome fish. But I just wish I could have had one more. It would have been solid. But if you guys want to check out NLBN, you can check out any of their lures and be ready for the limited batch low mullet drop. It'll be the day of this video um, at 8 p.m. So if you guys are watching this right as it comes out, stay tuned for 8 p.m. Try to grab some of those low mullets. If not, grab some 5 inches, grab some 8 inch straight tails, snook rulers, uh, mend it to repair your little mullet stuff like that um, and big shout out to no live bait needed for Hooking it up in this video today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and Hit the subscribe button if you're new. I will see you guys in that next video